Howdy, Jaybird here. Today we'll be unboxing Jurassic Parks. It's a game by 25th Century Games for 2-5 to five players ages 13 and up that plays in about 20 to 45 minutes. Let's get to it. Nice smooth opening, not too tight, not too too loose. First thing we got is this rule book. I'll get back to that later. We got a little ziplock of kind of amber looking gems. We got the kind of the mosquito and a, and a piece of amber. It's on a little tiny ziplock. It's on a ziplock of all the player colors, chisels that everyone gets to use. A quick open. Kind of a, a sticky tape style package. For some of these cards, which are kind of special cards you can add to the game. Uh, nice. It includes some extra ziplocks. I always love when it has. There's ziplocks you can separate stuff into. I got the big player cards. Talk about turn order, kind of re reference on how to play. A good variety of different people on these cards. So there's some good diversity. You got the field leader. And then, of course, these cards that remind all the players point values and the distribution of all the tiles in the game. So one for each player. And it looks like we got quite a few punch boards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten punch boards. They all have the the field tiles with the dinosaur bones that you're trying to dig up. I'll punch these out later because that'll take a little bit of time. But I'll, I'll go and punch one to show how clean they punch. It's pretty, that's a really smooth punch. Nice. Thick cardboard. Make sure that your game will last a long time and it doesn't look like any of the, the printing tears when you punch it either, which is really nice. There are a few games that tear when I punch it, but the quality on this looks really good. So back to the rule book. So it does kind of look like a, a leather bound field journal. Looks like the back has some in-game scoring reference, so you don't have to dig into the rule book every time to find it. So it tells you what components should be in the game and that you have. Nice, clear, easy to tell what they are with counts of the chisels that you'll be using. Nice, clear setup listed with reference numbers, which is always really nice. And then turn order, what you do on your turn. Kind of what the field leader does, because there's some special actions that allow you to do some bonus things on your turn if you get some amber pieces from the field leader. Uh, it talks about splitting the, the slab, so this game's all about using your chisels to break apart the slab and find more bones. And it tells you how to split it and then based on majority control of the split, how many you end up taking from that split. So the cards I talked about before, the resource cards, are extra little resources. They are an optional element. And then it goes into the scoring, kind of like the reference cards we already pointed out. And then kind of gives you a quick little tidbit about each of the player cards and the artwork and like who they are, kind of 
a little backstory for them, and then you get your credits. So overall, nice quality component. So a little update now that I've punched all the tiles and tried to fit them back in the box. I will say the four small zip locks do not work well for the tiles, so unless you want to put all the other cards into them, it might work well. So what I did to fit everything in the box and organize, I took a quart size ziplock for all the tiles. And then everything else still had their own little baggies. So if you really wanted to, you could probably fit some of the small stuff together in one of these. But to me, that's just a waste of time, ziplock in the ziplock. So really, just get yourself one quart size ziplock bag for all those tiles, throw them on top and everything fits perfectly back in the box. As always, play games, spread joy.